just just stroking your shit, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, bitch, ride that dick, bitch. Yeah, hop on that. Yeah, suck that nigga dick, bitch. Yeah, type shit. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Like, that's why you feel guilt after you beat your meat. You just look at the phone screen and you just feel disgusted. That's why, bro, because you're not supposed to be doing that, bro. Yo, what's cracking, gang? Juan G. Manny in the cut. Cherry vanilla coke in the cut. Try it today. Hey, let's get it. Today, we're going to be talking about my third week on NoFap. Not busting a nut. Not letting these bitches have it. Not letting porn have it. Not, letting, not even letting my hand have it, my nigga. We're going to get into that today. Talk about the benefits and the experience and all that shit. And motivation and all that good shit. Yeah, gang, let's get it. Hey, yo. So basically, my fams. Oh, I've just been vibing, bro. I've been doing a lot of working out. As you can see, these are 20-pound weights. They might not seem heavy, but this is a lot of fucking metal or iron. Whatever the fuck this shit is. This shit is heavy. I've been lifting these shits every other day. Because, you know, I got to let my body heal sometimes. But, oh, yeah, man, I've been working out, my nigga. I've been vibing. I've been focusing on myself. I've been making YouTube videos. Oh, I made a video called, uh, Why I Left Christianity. But they won't let me post it because they say something about hate speech. Oh, which is dumb as fuck. Because there's no such thing as a hate speech. My nigga, if you can't handle words, then you're a bitch. My nigga, straight up. How the fuck I can't say what I want about a religion? I, I'm not saying, oh yeah, let's go kill all Christians. Let's start another hol holocaust. What, the Christian version? Hell no, nah, bro. That's not what I'm doing, my nigga. I'm like, I'm like, oh shit. This shit got me tired as fuck. I'm not finna cap. But I gotta hit my reps, bro. Ugh. Fuck. Alright, so yeah. Like I was saying, my nigga. Um, I made a video, right? Called, uh... Why I left Christianity and moved to spirituality. And I said a lot of fuck, not a lot of fuck shit, but a lot of, I said a lot of, I guess, hurtful things in there. So basically, they gave me a warning, but not a strike yet. And you know, I'm not trying to fuck myself up and get a strike, my nigga. So I'm a, I gotta edit, I guess, a little bit out of that video, then I'm gonna post it type shit. So, whew, Wusa. Alright, gang, so, <laughs> so basically, man, yeah, uh, I'm gonna upload that video, I'm gonna let y'all see that, I want, I want to let y'all into my mind and what I think about, uh, religion and just certain shit, um, yeah, so yeah, like I said, man, uh, I, like, my nigga, think about how much time you probably, uh, spend beating your meat a week, real shit, think about, like, all that time, bro, you spend at least, even if you beat your meat for like 20, 15, 20, 10 minutes, that all adds up. If you beat your meat for 10 minutes a day, every week, every, every week, that's more than an hour, my nigga. That's an hour that you can be doing something actually productive in your life, my nigga, real shit. Like fucking working out, my nigga, and getting your body toned and healthy, my nigga, and just doing something that's going to benefit you in the long run, bro. My nigga, beating your meat is not finna benefit you in the long run. Short term, my nigga, yeah, that shit feel good as fuck, don't it? You like, oh, you know, that shit feel good, my nigga. Yeah, I know. I used to do that shit. But my nigga, <laughs> all my niggas know this. Right after you beat your fucking meat, straight shame, my nigga. Straight shame, right? You just feel guilty, my nigga. You just, like, <laughs> nigga, you can't even fucking cap, my nigga. Real shit. I used to feel it. I know all niggas feel it, bro. That's because you're not supposed to be doing that shit, my nigga. You're not supposed to be beating your fucking meat. You're supposed to be... My nigga, if you gonna bust a nut all the fucking time, at least make sure it's to a female, my nigga. Another bitch. Well, okay. Oh, check me out, bro. In my last video, somebody, somebody was telling me about... I got a... Uh, the next step on my semen retention is stop calling and just stop being around or something like that. Uh, bitches and hoes, you know, stop calling them that type shit. And yeah, I respect that for sure. So I guess I gotta work on calling them females and like women and shit like that. I, so, um, 
Yeah, so like I was saying, make sure that you're letting that nut out to a woman, my nigga. Uh, at least, bro, uh, a female. Don't be on no gay shit, nigga. If you gay, hey, if you gay, man, honestly, I ain't even gonna disrespect you like that, cause <laughs> I can lose a subscriber easily off that shit. But like, I can don't. I, I ain't gonna say I condone it, but. You can do what you want in this life, my nigga. It's your life. You do what you please. Now, socially, mo moral values, my nigga, are low-key against homosexuality. Even, even now, my nigga, yeah, they have gay pride parades and shit, whatever. And they're like, oh, they express their pride, right? Gay pride. But there's still a lot of people that's not down with that shit. I'm not not down. It's just I, I, I could never be gay. I couldn't. I love girl. I love women, females too much, bro. They like, they're just so great, my nigga. Like, they look good. They, bro, they can, they can treat you emotionally, physically, and mentally, my nigga. Like, it's it's just different, bro. Now with the homies, that's a different thing. Homies over females. I ain't gonna say hoes. Female, females. Any day, cause these are the homies. I grew up with these niggas. I hung out with these niggas hundreds of times. We've done everything together. We've smoked. <laughs> if I add up all the fucking weed we've smoked together, I want to say like ten thousand dollars worth. I'm not finna cap, cause all the money I've spent, all the money he spent, and he spent, and he spent, probably like ten k, ten bands, my nigga. <laughs> and I'm not finna cap at least 5k at the fucking least my nigga so um yeah it's bros before hoes cause my nigga I, I'm not finna switch up on my homie that I grew up with for you cause nigga you're temporary as fuck I can get another female easily my nigga and start a relationship with her but the homies you can't just get another homie it's not that easy you have to build a bond and a relationship with that homie to be close to him and for him to be your homie my nigga like my friends, I don't even, they're not really friends to me, bro. They're my brothers. I call them my, my brothers, bro. Um, cause like, I, we tell each other we love each other all the time. No homo type shit. We tell each other we, we love each other, bro. Cause we do. Like, we've been together for a long time, bro. We've been hanging. We've just done hella shit together, my nigga. Like, oh, real shit, man. But, um, oh, I think I got off topic. I ain't gonna count. I think I got off topic. But like I was saying, man, oh, you shouldn't be out here beating your meat, my nigga. You should be, if you're going to nut, at least make sure it's to a woman, right? And I don't care if, I don't care how you look. I don't care how you act, bro. There's a woman out here for every single nigga on this earth. I don't care if you're the ugliest nigga in your school. There's another girl that they say is the ugliest girl in the school. And y'all will be a perfect match, my nigga real shit and really it's not even all about looks it's about personality also like looks are like I'll say 50% that's why I get so many girls that's why I, well <laughs> there's three reasons why I get so many girls I look good I got a good personality and my semen retention my nigga they just flock to you type shit they feel your energy but like my nigga even if you're ugly bro do what I'm doing Hold your nut for three weeks, a month, even two weeks, my nigga. Watch how many girls come in your DMs, bro. Real shit. Watch how many girls come in your DMs. Nigga, I bet you'll come back to this video and be like, thank you, Manny. I got so many girls, I don't know what to do with now. Real shit. Like, <sighs> my nigga, I'm just trying to help y'all out oh, and educate y'all, you know what I'm saying? I want everybody who watch my videos to fucking come back. I mean, low leave from my videos with good positive vibes, good positive energy, good information, all that shit, bro. I'm taking my life experience and sharing it to y'all type shit. And the thing is, I'm only 15, bro. Ugh. My friends, 16, 18, 17, shit. Like, I'm low-key the youngest in my friend group. Like, one of the youngest. These niggas still out here beating their meat, still out here watching porn and shit. Like... I'm t I'm trying to put them on. I'm like, bro, that shit is weird because they watch my video. 
And I'm like, bro, that shit is weird, bro. You sitting here watching other bitches. No, like, watching other people. Oh, my God. I fucked up. Okay, not bitches. Females. Okay. You sitting out here watching them, right? And you're beating your meat to them, bro. Like, through a fucking phone screen. Phone screen just like fucking this. Just watching them. Just, just stroking your shit, bro. Like... Yeah, yeah, bitch, ride that dick, bitch. Yeah, hop on that, yeah, suck that nigga dick, bitch. Yeah, type shit. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Like, that's why you feel guilt after you beat your meat. You just look at the phone screen and you just feel disgusted. That's why, bro, because you're not supposed to be doing that, bro. Like, real shit, my nigga. Like, I'm just speaking facts, real shit. So, um, oh, shit. Oh, nigga. Oh, how the fuck do fuck? <laughs> how the fuck do them? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I don't know how to say that nigga name. How the fuck them niggas be flexing, bro? Them niggas be like this, right? Fuck this fail. My jacket. Like, uh. how the fuck I look? How I look? <laughs> I look. <laughs> I look <laughs> crazy. But um, yeah, I'm just clowning around, man. But um. Yeah, man, uh, that, that's just, shit, my experiences, as far as with that, shit, same shit, same shit, different day, fucking all these bitches coming to me, bro, oh my god, I keep fucking up, I gotta make that a habit of calling them females, real shit, um, but yeah, females coming to me, you know, they wanna text me, uh, I could probably pull some up right now, but yeah, they coming to me, you know, I got better opportunities in life because the law of attraction works so much better when you're on no fat, my nigga, I swear. Because that's like your life force energy, my nigga, real shit. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm going to just block it out. I'm going to edit it. So you see this girl, bro? This girl, I don't, I barely talk to her, my nigga, and she's just like, can we just go out? What do you mean, bruh? I, aren't you supposed to be the one asking her that as the man? You're supposed to ask, hey, can we go out type shit? She's just like, hold on, let me turn my phone to dark mode. Uh, is that good? There we go. Hold on, I think this works better. for. Yeah, alright, that works way better. <laughs> alright, she's like, can we just go out? I'm like, I mean... She's like, I already know that. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean you already know that? And she's like, but it doesn't change how I feel. I'm like, I feel you. I'm like, I mean, we don't even know each other in real life. We've never met. We've never met in real life. And she's trying to go out with me. This just proves that the lo <laughs> female attraction is real on no fat, my nigga. She just straight up asked me. That'll be a miracle, a blessing to most niggas. To have a girl just ask you to go out? Come on now. And I straight up declined because, like, I'm not even trying to put my energy into that right now, bro. That's just one example. I got more in my phone, bro. I can't, I sh I don't, I do not have to lie to y'all, bro. I don't. Like, this shit is real, my nigga. The benefits are fucking real, bro. I just feel moved. I feel inclined to fucking work out right now and just talk, talk to y'all about shit. You know what I'm saying? Like... <clears throat> Man, this shit is crazy, bro. But, uh, yeah, the experiences, you know, females coming to me more. At, the more I hold my nut, the more that come to me. Real shit. The more money I get, you know what I'm saying? I get, uh, I'm going to make a video right after this about how to manifest money and stuff and how the law, uh, law of attraction works better when you're holding in your life energy, your fucking semen. Your nut that creates a whole human, right? Yeah, when you hold that in, you just... <laughs> better things happen for you, bro. The law of attraction works so much more better for you, my nigga. Real shit. So, like... Yeah, there's that. Um, Shit, as y'all can see, you know, I'm looking kind of toned. Every time I make a no fat video, I look more toned than the last. I swear to God. But it, it's, great, it's great, though, bro. And, like, also, holding in your nut just makes you naturally more built and muscular you know like real shit like a, along with me working out <laughs> that combo my nigga i'm a bro in like a month i'm gonna be so ripped 
I'm working on my six pack now in my chest, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, it's kind of coming out more, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, my shoulders, I want to say they're coming like out more broad, you know what I'm saying? My skin glowing, my skin on my body, I'm not showing y'all's skin on my face. You know what? I don't know if y'all can see, but yeah, my fucking eyes, you know what I'm saying? My eyes are just. Not my eyes, but the skin around my eyes. You know, it's fucking clear and glowing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a beautiful human being. I'm a beautiful spiritual being having a human experience. My nigga, real shit. I'm out here, bro. But yeah, man. Uh, uh I'm gonna do ten more reps for y'all. Then I'm gonna cut this video off. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fuck, these are heavy. Oh. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Holy shit, you can see the veins in my neck when I do that. Oh my god, but yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, today was a good day. Every day is a good day that I'm on NoFap. Um, mm, new cherry vanilla coke in the cut. He vibing back there. Wanji Manny in the cut. Working out Manny in the cut. You know we vibing, bro. I love y'all. I want y'all to have a, have a good day and be on my journey, on my no fap semen retention journey. And yeah, man, just vibe, bro. And have a good day. Peace, gang. Been doing right all my life, but shit just go wrong. I'm tired of hustling, baby.